Hello, this is the journal I just finished. I made it out of the cardboard from a FedEx mailer. It's eight and a half inches by six inches. I cut the cardboard into three pieces and then bound it together with some handmade paper. Inside I used Ephemera's Vintage Gardens hidden binding technique. So the stitches are all attached to a piece of brown craft paper. I cut the paper out and added a piece of Tyvek tape that I found at a thrift shop to reinforce it. This journal has three signatures. I had planned on putting four in there but decided there really wasn't room for another one. So I used the extra signature to make a little soft bound journal. Inside, I used, and on the outside also, I used some pressed flowers I've had for about 20 years. I used pressed flowers on the inside cover too, and the back cover also. The flowers I glued to a piece of cardstock, and then I collaged a piece of brown tissue on top of them. Inside this book are tea stained papers. It's the first time I've ever tried using them and I like the way they look. This is an image I got off Pinterest. I really like this picture of this little girl. I put a little card I made out of some leftover pressed flower paper. This is a book page. These images I stamped onto the brown tissue paper and then I, I used Versamark then I embossed them with my heat gun and glued them onto the page. Some old graph paper, craft paper, another glued on embossed stamp. This is a little sack I bought at a craft store and a piece of paper from an old card. The bird was done the same as the other ones with an embossed image which looks like this. Then you just glue it down and then on this one I added liquid embossing which is kind of like glossy accents. This is a page from an old book I have called Living on the Earth. It was written in the 1970s and the whole book is handwritten with hand-drawn images. I really like using it in my journals. This is part of an old card and I saved, I covered up the sentiment, which I think was a with sympathy card. This time I embossed with gold and glued that piece down. I made a pocket out of a heart-shaped doily. This is a tag I made 
using some Tim Holtz tissue mounted on cardstock with a piece of an old greeting card to decorate it. These library pockets have tags in them that I made. Here's one on cardstock that was tea stained with a picture I cut from an old book and a Tim Holtz stamp. And that's some Seven Gypsies washi tape and one of my glued on embossed images. Just a little scrap of cardstock decorated with an old card and some tissue paper. And this is two pages sewn together. I made a pocket and this tag is one of the free downloads from Graphics Fairy, which I coffee stained. Here I sewed on a piece of note paper. Another Graphics Fairy download. Um, this was an old piece of paper with an old drawing on it. Postcard. Another embossed piece of tissue paper. A page from a magazine. This time I embossed it directly onto the paper. This was a photograph I got at an estate sale. I got a whole box of these old pictures and made a little tag. And this tag has a picture of me, my sister, and my little brother. I had a bunch of extra photos, so I've been using them in my journals. This stamp is from a bunch of stamps that I got at a thrift shop. There was a whole bag of them and I mounted them on a, some wooden blocks. An old typewritten letter and an envelope from 1957 that I turned into a pocket for a piece of note paper. Another page from Living on the Earth. Oh, sheet music and I used a Martha Stewart punch to scallop the edge. A pocket from a nautical map. And this tag has a little brad on it. I used some brown craft paper, another doily, old book page from a children's book, the rest of that magazine page. I like that image. Handwritten letter from 1957. A page from an old newspaper where I'm from. This piece of paper was in a bunch of old magazines. Somebody had drawn an astrological chart and it actually had, this edge was actually the worn, faded, brown edge. It was already there. This is sort of like Ephemera's Vintage Gardens Hearts on a String, only I use postage stamps to attach to my binding string. Piece of cardstock. graph paper, another piece of that nautical chart, graphics fairy download, old photo, and a little bookmark, and a tag, 
which is the rest of that envelope. And I think this was from Graphics Fairy also. They're just little postcards that are supposed to be a bookmark also. I sewed this piece of note paper and that piece of note paper on at the same time. And this is a from a collage sheet. This. <clears throat> I made a little tuck spot out of one of those postcard bookmarks with a little note card. On this page, I used the embossing pad and clear embossing powder. I really like the way that came out. I stamped it on there and it kind of shows through on the other side. I liked it so well I did it again here. Another library pocket with a tag. This has a little elephant charm on it. I used two-part epoxy to glue that down and a postage stamp. Another embossed image, note paper sewn on both sides. I didn't realize when I sewed them on that they both said beautiful. And that's it. Thank you for watching.